Hey, this is Danielle, and today I'm going to be talking about Bitcoin. When you look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a fantastic weekly squeeze. What that means is that it's consolidating, it's building up momentum, and it's getting ready to go. Uh, which way is it going to go? I think it's going to go to the upside. The reason why I think it's going to go to the upside is because it's in this nice bullish trend. Uh, we have positive volume. We have shifting momentum. We're holding these critical moving averages. We also have a high volume buy. Um, and then also, if you look at the last weekly squeeze, which was right here, that was actually the signal that took Bitcoin from, let's see what price, about 25,000 up into 74,000. So pretty good signal right there. Look at that. Um, and then before that, you had a weekly squeeze right here too. That one wasn't, um, I guess, as powerful, but it still brought it from, you know, 15,000, 16,000 up into about 29,000. Okay, actually, that was a pretty good move. Um, so I think that we are on the cusp of another big move based on this trend. Now, why do I think it's important right now? Uh, mainly because of the breakout that's happening on the daily chart. You know, generally you're going to have these things break out on the lower time frame charts first, and then that will bleed into the higher time frame charts. So today on this daily chart, you can see that we're up 4.68%. We have volume coming in. We haven't quite uh, broken out on the squeeze here yet. But we broke up above the 200 simple and the 100 simple, and we're about to breach these previous highs. So after it breaches this previous high at about 67,000, um, that's where, you know, you're on your way back up to 70,000. 70,000 certainly is a major area of resistance, you know, can't deny that. Um, but if, if, if this powerful squeeze can send us through 70,000. That's where we're going to be back up into 80,000. So uh, people are asking me how to trade it. You know, I think you just buy Bitcoin itself. You can also buy uh, some Bitcoin ETFs. You have to just kind of do a little bit of research and see what fits your needs the best. I generally think the ones that follow the Bitcoin spot price are going to be a little bit better. I'm not a huge fan of uh, volatile names like MSTR. I mean, it just doesn't really, like obviously it's correlated, but it just doesn't track it very well. So, I mean, if you look at MSTR, like this one already made a new high, which is not the case for Bitcoin. The pattern doesn't look anything alike. So it's not really something you could follow it with. Um, but you know, I think just buying Bitcoin itself is a great way to be involved. So hope you found this helpful. Uh, let me know if you end up trading some Bitcoin or just buying it, but either way, looking for this one to continue heading higher. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Hey traders. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to make sure that you get all of our free trading content, make sure you hit subscribe and also give us a like and comment down below. If you want to learn more about us and if you want to join us for live trading in real markets with real money, make sure you go to simplertrading.com where you can join us for more info. Thank you very much and have a great day.